And the story of Easter is the story of uh, uh, God uh, sending uh, his son, as we all know, uh, to die on the cross for us. And uh, it is a, a medicine presented by God directly to us. And uh, there's no better moment, a better day to be able to launch uh, the program that we have for free medicine scheme than today as we remember Easter that is before us. The director of PBS and your staff, uh, distinguished guests, members of the, uh, the pharmaceutical uh, uh, society and uh, colleagues, uh, good morning to you all. And thank you for the invitation for the launching of this uh, free medicine reform program. Uh, as you all know, this has also been a spotlight uh, previously, either in the media or in, also in Parliament. The FMP was launched in 2015 as a government initiative in this Fijian government to ensure equity in terms of uh, accessibility and availability of key medicines through the private and public sector pharmacies for all who need medications for their medical conditions. We are all too aware of what uh, used to happen before. If you're a public patient, uh, you get your medicines within the public program. And if you're a private patient, you get your medicines in the private program. And uh, if at any stage there was no medicines available through the public sector, there was no way in which you can access uh, through a government-funded uh, scheme the private sector. And uh, this year we've had experience from the last seven years. The reform is needed and timely and we've grown and we've matured throughout the program. And I understand one of the major changes in the reform is that participating private pharmacies are using their own stock of medicines in the FMP list, which is then restored, restocked by our FPBS. As I speak, installations continue in the Central Division before we roll out to the Western Division in the next few days. From the paper-based system, the operation is uh, reforming to the digital platform and allows for a transparent and efficient method of transaction and leads to appropriate analysis of data. Our health centers will now use a tablet raise their orders, inclusive of all the specific departments such as dental, laboratory, radiology, and biomedical departments. And this I'm alluding to the, the digital supply chain uh, uh, reform that we've also done through M Supply. And this also included the orders are processed through real in real-time information system. And the Ministry of Health and Medical Services also altered the distribution method of medical supplies by dispatching free, directly to the doorstep of health facilities. Proper handling of the product is paramount as staff continue to ensure that uh, our medical supplies are not damaged and they, we try to reduce wastage as much as we can. Uh, colleagues, uh, our FPBS has also begun on a door-to-door -door exercise of uh, uh, ensuring that uh, medicines and consumables uh, given directly to the centers that need them. I've watched with interest as they've been uh, crossing the river up in Eta City and also across the sea, even across to Esau. By reaching all these hard to reach or remote facilities, we're ensuring universal health coverage for Fijians. According to WHO, there's at least half of the people in the world do not receive the health services they need. And some 100 million around the world are pushed to extreme poverty each year because of our out-of-pocket spending on health. And this is a challenge that we work hard to overcome. And this is one of the means by which we continue to provide social protection for all Fijians. To make health for all a reality, we need individuals and communities who have access to high-quality health services so that they take care of their own health and the health of their families. We need skilled health workers providing quality, people-centered care and policy committed to investing in universal health coverage. And UHC should be based on a strong, people-centered primary health care, supported by the ready, accessible treatment modalities, which includes essential medicine and the other interventions, such as surgery. Good health systems are rooted in the communities they serve. They focus not on preventing and treating disease illness, but also to improve well-being and quality of life. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, I take this time to thank you all. Thank the director of PBS and his hardworking team, and also those who have been involved in the FMBP program for the last seven years. I've seen that our teams have been moving around the country, 
and moving also into the private pharmacies which we are working hand in hand together. I stand uh, as your minister at this launching and also urge you, all of us here today, to continue the good work that you are doing in directly contributing to universal health coverage, access and equity in medicines to all Fijians. And again, I wish you also a blessed Easter. Love you.